Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today we're going uh, to work on the Python coding exercise in CodeSignal. Um, so if you're joining this in the middle of the playlist, I'll go ahead and put a link down below so you can start from the first video if you wish. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to the Arcade and I'm going to Python. We're still in this first section, Meet Python. Uh, we finished the base conversion one last time, so we're on the MEX function here. So in this one, they want us to modify some pre-existing code and just put in new code where the ellipsis is. So you've just started to study impartial games and came across an interesting theory. The theory is quite complicated, but it can be narrowed down to the following statements. Solutions to all games, such games, can be found with the max function. Max is an abbreviation of mini minimum excludent. For the given set S, it finds the minimum non-negative integer that is not present in S. You don't yet know how to implement such a function efficiently, so would like to create a simplified version. For given set S, and given an upper bound, implement a function that will find its max if it's smaller than upper bound, or return upper bound instead. Uh, and then they give you a hint. For loops also have an else state clause which executes when the loop completes normally without encountering any breaks. So here's the examples. So you've got a, a list or set here that has integer values and then they give you an upper bound of 10. So what it's looking for is the smallest integer that's not in the list and is less than the upper bound. So 1, 2, 3, 4 are there but you can see 5 is not in the list so it should return 5. Now if the upper bound is 3 then uh, it's the same list uh, but since 5 is the first missing integer value it's going to return 3 because 5 is greater than the upper bound. Okay, so let's look at the code that they've already implemented. So they have a found variable that they're uh, initializing as negative 1 and then they're doing a for loop uh, from just uh, whatever they, uh, they just said i and then they're going a range to the upper bound. So if the upper bound is 5 then Sorry. If the upper bound is 5, then it will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. That will be in, in a list that it will iterate through, and so it will go i equals 0, i equals 1, i equals 2, etc. And then it will look if i is not in s, s is the list uh, of values then it's going to put found equal to i. So it's going to return uh, found as the first uh, integer value that it finds that's not in the list. And break just means it's going to exit out of this for loop and then it's going to return found. So what they want us, us to implement is if it gets through all this range up to the upper bound and it doesn't find anything, what should we return for found? Uh, it shouldn't be negative 1 because what they're saying is here implement a function that will find its max if it's smaller than the upper bound so this is the condition that's not going to be met uh, because we're executing else so instead they want to return the upper bound so we're going to set found equal to upper bound and then if we test that out oh, because I put this comment in here they don't like it okay so you can see that gives us the correct answer alright I hope you guys were able to follow along with that and you've joined me for future videos thank you very much